on a rural property smattered with dams, police divers search for bodies. A week after Sydney couple Jesse Baird and Luke Davies were allegedly murdered, the investigation has led police here to a property southeast of Goulburn. Divers arrived first thing this morning to resume yesterday's search. It is our number one priority at this moment to try and locate um, Jesse and Luke to give the family some solace. Police are piecing together evidence found in multiple locations around the state. On Monday, they allege a triple zero call was made from Mr Baird's Paddington home four minutes after shots were fired. There was a triple A call made from Jesse's phone, however, it disconnected. Police are investigating the hiring of a white van from Mascot that night. Two days later, on Wednesday, bloodied clothes were discovered in a skip bin in Cronulla. The same day, police allege the van travelled to the small town of Bungonia, stopping at a hardware store. It's alleged an angle grinder and a padlock were purchased and later that night, some weights from a Sydney department store. Police will allege the white van was later seen in Newcastle, before returning to Sydney on Friday. There are missing gaps in the timeline for us. Police allege the accused travelled here to the property in Bungonia with a friend. They say the woman is not a suspect and she's now helping detectives with their inquiries. It wasn't just dams being searched today, with officers scouring the property on foot as well. A tinny was seized and taken for forensic testing but little else. Police divers packed up and left around lunchtime with no sign of the bodies and allegedly no assistance from the officer in custody. No one involved in this inquiry to date has assisted police with the location of those bodies. Police say they're now looking anywhere between Goulburn and Newcastle for the men's bodies. Isabel Rowe, ABC News, Bungonia.